Deep in the bowels of suburbia, an SUV backs out of a garage, and a transformation begins. Fifteen minutes later, to the amazement of many, the garage is transformed into a paint booth. If you want to learn how to build this paint booth, please keep watching. My name is Paul, and this is Adventures in Fabrication, a channel about creating, inventing, and restoration in the home shop. I watched many of the videos on YouTube showing how to build a cube style paint booth out of PVC. I even considered building mine that way. However, this design has two major flaws. It takes too long to set up each time you want to use it, and it takes a lot of room to store. I plan on using my booth 8 to 10 times a year, and when I use it, it'll be for only a day or two. So ease of use and storage are critical design features. I came up with a design that uses gravity instead of fighting it. By, by building a PVC frame that attaches permanently to the ceiling, you only need to use about 30% of the PVC versus a cube style booth. Also, you no longer have to worry about how you're going to store the long pieces of PVC. In addition, you have the option of rolling up the curtains and storing them with the PVC ceiling frame. Now on to the build. Every booth needs good lighting, so I started out by installing a power outlet in the ceiling that attaches to the existing light switch. For lighting, I used three of my old lighting fixtures that came out of my shop when I upgraded to LED lighting. I'm not going to waste your time showing you the lighting installation. It's pretty standard stuff, really. The first step in building the booth was laying out the PVC structure to make sure the lengths were correct and everything fit together. To build the frame, I used one and a quarter inch PVC that I purchased at the local home improvement store. To attach the frame to the ceiling, I used swag hooks that you can get in the lighting department of your home improvement store. They cost about 75 cents each. I attached them to clips with 30 pound picture hanging wire I got at Walmart. Here you can see the frame attached to the ceiling. It's suspended about a foot below the ceiling to make setup and storage easier. Realistically, you don't need a ceiling on your booth if it's a temporary structure. If it's a permanent structure, you want to seal it up to keep the dirt and dust out. This shows the booth completely assembled and in stored condition. The curtains are wrapped up and being held in place by bungee cords. Now at 8x speed, I'll show you the setup process. It's basically just going around and removing the bungee cords and then sliding the curtains in place. For curtains, I use 9mm tarps. They're only slightly more expensive than the painter's plastic that you typically see used on paint booths. Also, these tarps came with grommet holes already in them, which was really convenient. I choose to use reflective tarps to provide additional reflective lighting when painting. Total setup time only takes about 15 minutes. I expect with experience I'll even get faster at it than that.
Disassembly and storage of the booth takes only 20 minutes and is pretty easy. You basically just roll up the floor and slide the, the sides back and attach them to the frame with bungee cords. The video is running at 8x speed. If you have any questions on the build, leave a comment below and I will respond. Thanks for watching and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.